Welcome to KP Classes everyone. So today's video will be discussing about the memory based questions of 2024 gate. So I have collected few questions from my students and we'll be discussing about those and uh, the moment we get the response sheet we'll be uh, preparing the uh, preparing uh, the answer keys and the expected cutoff etc. So all around about the uh, 2024 gate geology paper. Uh, it's uh, between uh, moderate to an e, e to EC was the uh, response of uh, students. Uh, most of the people were saying, most of the gate geology aspirants were saying it's between EC to moderate paper. Very few were saying it's a difficult section. Uh, anyway, let's discuss about the uh, gate 2024. So the first question uh, was regarding uh, the residual melt direction when diopside crystallization happened. When diopside crystallization happened, what is the residual melt direction? So they gave a picture where the y-axis is about calcium carbonate divided by L2O3 and the x-axis was of magnesium oxide. This was the uh, y and x axis and it consists of four different lines. So, while uh, diopside crystallization happen, the residual melt will be shifting to which particular direction? Residual melt will be shifting in which particular direction? So, there was, these were the uh, different path they have showed. So, we know that when uh, diopsid crystallization happened from a, uh, from a uh, melt, a residual, um, the residual melt will be depleted in calcium carbonate and Mg oxide, right? Because diopsid is, com what is the equation for, what is diopsid means? Diopsid is uh, the uh, calcium magnesium. Uh, carbonate is what is diopsid. So, if when diopsid crystallization happen, calcium and mag magnesium will be taken from the entire, uh, taken from melt. Hence, uh, when diopsid crystallization happen, which is MgCaSi2O6, calcium magnesium crystallization happen, the residual melt will be depleted in calcium and magnesium. Hence, the answer will be, this was number 3, this particular this would be the the uh, how residual melt uh, path de depicted by diopside crystallization. Moving on to the next uh, question. Uh, next question is about the plane of symmetry in tetragonal system. So, we know plane of symmetry. So, there is a small issue over here. Plane of symmetry in uh, tetragonal system. Tetragonal. Uh, system is actually 5, 5, whereas in the options, uh, I hope there was no option of 5 uh, given the options were four, 3, 4, 6, etc. So, uh, we have to check when the response sheet comes and if it required, we may have to review the answer key if they have provided a particular answer for that. Now, move on to the next question. Uh, there was a question about, they gave 4 options and asked which one is the ultramafic rock among them. Which one is the ultramafic rock among them? So, there was uh, Gabro was one option. Another option was uh, <clears throat> anorthosite, etc. Different, different rocks were there. So, ultramafic rock uh, would be dunite. In the option, the correct answer would be was dunite. Dunite is the correct answer for the ultramafic rock. Next uh, question was about, uh, they gave a picture and uh, it was somewhat like this uh, <coughs> fold were provided and they mentioned uh, the what is the core and uh, the uh, out inner core what is the age and the outer part what is the age of the bed which one is older younger and the options was and the form facing east and this was east and this was west and the form facing east and the form facing west etc uh, and sin form uh, question so anyway this is an andy form because when the term comes of andy klein that is the definition of fold will be when the uh, core part of the fold composed of old uh, rock and the outer part is of younger rock we call it as a anticline 
right and andy foam means the this particular shape or when when the uh, fold closes downward this is called as andy foam if, if it opens upward we call it as a sin foam so this was an andy foam now next question is a uh, hierarchical volt uh, hierarchical arrange the uh, provided volcanic proven provenances in the hierarchical order so so in this question uh, the uh, options were given as bijli rhyolite uh, rajmahal rajmahal trap deccan volcanics Ma malani igneous suit these were the options provided and we know that this bijli rhyolite bijli rhyolite is actually Age of Bijli Rhyolite is Paleo, Proterozoic, and that of Malani Igneous Suit is Neo Proterozoic, uh, Rajmahal Trap is Upper Jurassic to Upper Jurassic to lower cretaceous and that of deccan volcanics is upper cretaceous to paleogene almost so we know the oldest one is bijli rhyolite then bijli rhyolite next one will be malani then next will be Rajmahal, last will be Deccan Volcanics. So, the order will be Bijli Rhyolite, Bijli Rhyolite, uh, Malani Igneous Suit, Rajmahal Trap and Deccan. It was kind of an easy question but still uh, some may get confused. So, anyway, next one is... Uh, Next question is about the, uh, there was a match the following given and divide, giving all the uh, or, or bivalve uh, echinoids, uh, trilobites, trilobites and brachiopoda. These were provided and uh, the correct option for bivalve should be the lunule and for trilobite it was hypostome, hypostome and brachiopoda was pedicle. I don't remember the echinoid uh, option. So, anyway, you, you know these are the correct options. This was the correct uh, match the following should be correct if you do the terms according to this one. Okay, now let's move on to the next question that was a very easy question about the horse evolution, evolution of horse. Uh, they gave few options and they asked among the following which one is the oldest form. So, uh, as a rough way if I mention it is Eohippus then goes to Orohippus. If there was Orohippus in the option the answer would be Orohippus, Mesohippus. Then Parahippus, Parahippus, Merichippus, this was one of the option, Merichippus, then next one is Protohippus, Plyohippus uh, or Hipparion. etc this goes on okay so the i guess in the option there was orohippus so the uh, answer would be orohippus moving on to the next question is uh, about the so these are important easy question and then there was another one they gave a question from geomorphology they gave an arrangement of potential electrodes and 
potential electrodes and uh, uh, potential electrodes and current elect uh, current elect uh, one we they have provided and they asked us to uh, find out which one is uh, whether it is options for Schlumberger array dipole dipole. Uh, Paul, Paul, and Werner array. So there they have provided that the distance between each of them is uh, the potential uh, electrode and the current electrodes. Uh, the distance between them are the same that was provided, and uh, and when it, and the diagram was almost same as. I'll show you. Give the potential electrodes were arranged first and the uh, current electrodes were shown over here okay so this particular arrangement is usually for dipole dipole uh, array uh, it can be if equal distance is actually for werner but the arrangement is uh, different right potential electrode and uh, on the either side it will be coming and the center two of them will be defined so i hope the answer will be dipole dipole the question is not clear the students have not provided the questions completely so uh, i hope the answer will be dipole dipole array now uh, next question was uh, they gave uh, four options sandstone shale uh, limestone and conglomerate and the question was among the following which one is the rarest sedimentary rock so shale is the highest abundant sedimentary rock about 60 percentage of earth surface is composed of shale uh, when it comes to sandstone it's about 20 percentage of earth surface is composed of sandstone when it comes to limestone it is 15 percentage conglomerate is very very less comparing with any uh, all of these sedimentary rock so the answer would be conglomerate over here then there was uh, the next question over uh, was uh, they gave uh, options such as Kaveri, uh, Krishna Godavari, Krishna Godavari, Ganga, etc. And they asked among the following, I guess Kerala Kongan, I don't remember, among the following uh, river basins, which one possesses the hydrocarbon? which one possess a hydrocarbon field uh, or among the following which one uh, produces hydrocarbon economically so if it is ganga does not produce hydrocarbon economically uh, kongan also does not produce economically whereas uh, kaveri and krishna produces uh, both uh, the river basin possess hydrocarbon field and they produce hydrocarbon economically also <coughs> then uh, there was next question four options were there and uh, which one is the indian gold mine gold mine was the question and the answer was hatti hatti was the answer over there then the next question is uh, they gave four tectonic uh, plate velocity you have were provided like four options were there and among the for following four options, where is the tectonic plate velocity highest? So the options was Maldives, uh, Bangalore, Delhi, and Leh. So in Maldives, the uh, velocity is 5.94 centimeter per year. For Bangalore, it is 39 millimeter per year. Delhi, it is in range of 1 to 10 millimeter per year. Lay, it is 10 to 25 millimeter per year. These are the ranges of velocity. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. It was about, uh, they gave four options of well logging. Uh, caliper log was there. Uh, density log and neutron log and it was kind of a match the following i remember caliper log is for defining the diameter of the bore well uh, density log is to define the electron uh, density of the rock electron density of a rock uh, neutron log is to define the water content okay uh, fourth option is not known 
then there was an another easy question about quaternary period epochs quaternary period and we know answer is both holocene and pleistocene holocene and pleistocene uh, there was a numerical question related to ohm's law i don't know the values so just give you the equation we know ohm's law where voltage v is equal to current i into resistance r v is equal to ir i guess i and r were provided we need to calculate the potential value v okay that was the question then uh, there was another numerical question related to young's modulus shear stress and uh, change in length value so that also young's modulus i guess i don't know i don't remember i don't have the question properly so anyway young's modulus is equal to we know normal stress actually axial stress stress by axial strain stress divided by longitudinal strain longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain and there was another numerical question also related to stress which is equal to force by uni, uh, the area cross sectional area uh, equation you can use to solve that um, then there was uh, another question numerical question related to uh, horizontal horizontal hydraulic conductivity hydraulic conductivity i don't have the value again but i'll give you the equation to calculate the horizontal hydraulic conductivity we just need to uh, add all the hydraulic conductivity value with the thickness divided by the uh, total thickness of the rock so i guess they have they were provided that there are two horizontal layers and with two different k value and the d values are the same so you just keep it as d and you can calculate so here in the denominator it would become 2d right two times the d value and here you just put the k d k1 d plus k2 d you can take the d as a common d, d will be cancelled out you can easily calculate the horizontal hydraulic conductivity value okay so these are the questions that i remember uh, uh like i collected from my students and the questions that i remember uh from the uh, 2024 gate so i hope this video would be uh a help helpful for to understand the questions and the correct answer would what would be the correct answer so we'll be let's wait for the response sheet and the moment we get the response sheet we'll be uh making the answer uh, the answer key for that and if you remember any new questions any questions and if you feel like uh, you get the terms or the values that i have missed in this video please mention that in the comment section let's discuss it over there so thank you so much uh, for more details related to geology coaching or uh, competitive exams you can contact us in the number given in the description box thank you